Hello and welcome to Minikun Tutorials. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the reuse details feature of YouTube when uploading a new video. Now, of late, YouTube has given us this feature, which is very, very useful in my opinion, because it helps you use or reuse details such as the video description, the video location, the video title, the video language, the playlist, and many other details of your previously posted videos to upload your new video. So sometimes, for instance, like if you have to upload a video and you realize that the video description or the description that you are about to write for your new video it's almost similar to a previously posted video. You could just reuse details from the previously posted video and do it some few editings. So this actually saves time, especially if you are the type who uploads a lot of videos or a lot of content and uh, you might not have time to always write re to twist write the video description because certain things are constant. Like you might say please subscribe to my channel and many other things within your video description that you you would not you might not necessarily have to repeat so you could just uh, import those details from a previously posted video apart from this you could also I mean I would show you all the features okay or all the details all the possible details so without much ado let's quickly log into YouTube and I'll try uploading a video and I'll show you how to use the re or I will show you how to reuse details from a previously posted video to upload your new video. Now let me log into my YouTube channel. Okay, now here we go. Sorry for keeping you waiting. Now I've just logged into my YouTube channel, and what am I going to do? I will simply click on whichever it depends however you upload your videos but this is how I personally do it I click on my picture icon I could just right here have the upload button but it's just my way of doing things I click on the picture icon I click on my channel and then when I come over here I simply come and click on upload it's still the same thing okay so you click on create or you could you know this creating a video so you click on create here then you click on uh, upload video and now we're gonna click on this button upload video and now we'll just browse for the video so let's assume I uh, have a video that I want to screen encoder let's assume I want to upload a video on how to um, how to what I have several videos that I want to upload how to change your gmail now how to change your youtube channel name for instance I think I have a video on that how to change your youtube how to change the name of your youtube channel without necessarily changing your Google account name okay so this is the video that I want to upload now how to change the name of your YouTube channel without changing your Google account name so this is the, this is the video and um, now as you can see we have this place we have I'm still waiting for it to upload but uh, as you can see we have the reuse details button here now this particular feature helps us like I said reuse details such as the description the video description the video title and uh, the, uh, many other details like the playlist you know and uh, more let's say even the tags very very important for instance you cannot always rewrite your tags especially if the videos are similar then why waste your time rewriting all those tags when you grab yes okay the video is uploaded already okay 
Now, so you realize that I w- if if I were to fill this manually, I would have to waste a lot of time. But certain things, like the video category, if it's the same category as your previous one of your previously, uh, if it's in the same category um, as one of your previously posted videos, then you could maintain the category. You could also maintain, for instance, the re- no, not the recording date, but the video location, the language, the video language, or the language of the video, the video disc, uh, the tags, very, very important. And so of rewriting all the tags, you could just use this feature and boom, you, you are done. So now, without much ado, let me first of all upload the thumbnail. I've already prepared the thumbnail on my desktop. And then I'll show you this feature. So how to work. Uh, how to change channel name okay this is a thumbnail i've already prepared all right and now with a video description i've already uploaded a video on how to change for instance your youtube um sorry how to change your google account or your gmail name now this particular video is similar to changing your um your youtube channel name so for that matter i will try to reuse details from this particular video to help or to hasten the process of uploading so to do this i'll just click on reuse details over here right and now i will find the video that i have already uploaded which is what how to change your google you could it, it, it whichever video of your choice all right that you feel like the the video details um, are similar to the details that you are about to enter for your newly upload and uh, the video that you are now trying to upload or your newly uploaded video let me repeat myself the, the purpose of this particular feature is to help us reuse details from a previously posted video to upload a new video so let's assume this particular video like i said how to change your youtube your uh, gmail or Google account uh, name is similar to the video that I'm just about to upload which is how to uh, change your YouTube channel name the description is the same all right you could do use any of your videos any of your videos that you think the description or the many other features match your new video that you're about to upload you could just choose so I will choose this one for instance and now is telling me all the features you know so if i want let's say if i want to to maintain the title i don't think it would make sense maintaining the title because this is a, a, a new video altogether even though certain uh, features even though i, I would like to, rem- to repeat certain features like the description so the, the title video title i wouldn't repeat the video title but for description have a lot of uh, stuff within the description that I think are similar or just I'm just going to repeat for my the new video that I want to upload so I'll just select description and then the playlist too I would like to put it in the same playlist as the this particular video so I'll leave playlist also and now tags very very important I would also like to maintain the tags and after which I'll just do some few editings or delete the tags that I don't want to repeat so I'll leave tags to video language this is in English so I'll maintain it so this from a previously posted video the video location is in France and the category everything is okay I'll just click on reuse so bam you realize that as soon as I click on reuse it has just re- filled in the what do we call it the description box with my the previous uh, what should i say with the the, the details that i wrote uh, in other words it has just imported the video description of my previous video into the this the description box for the new video that i'm about to upload and if you check you realize that it has also imported the tax you see so just edit some some of the tags are not really um, important here so i might delete them so this helps hasten the process okay for instance if i should show you the video title 
I said what well, this video shows you how to change so instead of saying how to change your gmail as in the previous video how to change your gmail account i would simply say or i can even copy it how to so just say how to and just copy it here from my video title this video shows you how to change sorry do it change how to change the name of your youtube channel without changing your google account name in just a few in just maybe five minutes okay so i've simply maintained the description i've just i've just imported it from uh, or i've used the details from my previous video and i've just done a few editing and it's okay in just five minutes and now please subscribe to my channel all these things i would have had to repeat all of them but now i don't need to you know please subscribe to my channel how to change your youtube channel name without whatever no this is not what i want so now uh, i would just simply speaking i'm gonna do a few editing you know and after editing like let me scroll down and show you the other details like the playlist you remember that i didn't select any playlist the playlist that i've just chosen here are playlists or that are selected here or checked here are the playlist in which the previous video was saved so now if i feel like i'm checking one of them let's say if i don't want to put a new video in ict tips then i could uncheck it if i want to you know and just leave it in uh, youtube channel tips and then if i scroll down to you have for instance other stuff like the tax now the tax i could just uh, erase some of them like how to change your google account personal information i could maintain this one how to edit the name of your gmail um, I could maintain it since it's closer to the previous video how to YouTube password is not important you know and then I could also change how to change your Google account personal info this is not so important and I'll just if I want I can just write the title of this video as one of my tags even though it's, it's a very long tag usually you have to keep your tax as short as possible but i've single tax or double tax so this is okay i have to put the whole title then i would say for instance change youtube channel what name change youtube channel name youtube channel name You know and there are many other things that I can do change YouTube channel name how to change YouTube channel name let me put how to how to change and I could also say how to edit YouTube channel name How to edit the name name of your YouTube channel okay how to modify your YouTube whatever and now the video language I don't need to change it it's okay this these are features or details for my previous video and i think everything is okay so you see that this actually aids the video category how to and lifestyle i don't have to change it you know 
so this actually hastened if not i would have had to repeat all these procedures for this new video meanwhile i've already done it for a previous a previous video or a previously posted video so this feature has actually helped me reuse all these details from the previously posted video to upload my new video and this saves much time i hope this video helped and um, now i could just click on next you know and then activate my monetization since this video is, is less than eight minutes certain monetization uh, whatever will not be applied and then i just click on next make sure you have checked all eligible ads you know if there were uh, more than eight videos i could have checked many other ads but i've already i've i've i've, I've already set my my upload details for monetization so automatically when i switch it on all the applicable ads are automatic, uh, automatically selected now just click on next and uh, now no, just click on this submit rating and then next over here I could uh, add let's say end screens hello and affect the name of your Google account in other words your G okay from here Gmail account your Google account From here, I could just add a subscription button here and also add a couple of videos like, um, you know, let's say a video, this particular video, how to change your YouTube channel name. Okay, and uh, a couple of videos. And also add maybe how to. Um, which video again should i add I mean, maybe paperless tax information video and i also have another video on how to on comments how to show hidden or fix hidden comments for instance let me show, add that one too and i'm true to go just click on save and if i want to add a card uh, let's say if I want to add subtitles, I could do that. I could add card. If I if I'm okay, I just click on next. I don't want to add any of those. Click on next again, and then if I want to publish it straight away, I could just select publish. But I prefer keeping it as unlisted, so that the monetization it will um so that I'll, I'll get to know if it's eligible for monetization before I now publish it. So if I should click on this. Uh, unlisted then I click on save and my video is uploaded to make it public I could just now click over here and select public if I want to edit before making it public then I could just click on this button here to edit the details before publishing thank you so much for watching and this is how we use the reuse details feature when uploading videos on YouTube. Please subscribe. Bye.